such displays of friendship. A warmth to thaw even the frail yard itself. <coughs> but what if there is no frail yard? I told you before what is at stake here, child. This willump. Or the world. And yet, here you are. And here I'm staying. With Willem. Then you have made your choice. To throw away the world in the pointless pursuit of friendship. Your naivete dooms us all. No. I'm choosing another path. I know the sacrifices that you made. And why. But I can't do the same. What's the point in living without your family beside you? Sleepy? And what precisely is this other path you speak of? Enlighten me. I... don't know yet, but... we'll find it together. No problem ever only has one or two easy solutions. There's always a secret option number three. You just gotta look hard to see it. Sight? You talk to me about sight. I may be blind, child, but my vision is clear, and I see your doom.
Your time has passed.
Did, did we win? Hmm. I think... I think we... <laughs> you cannot use ice to destroy its own queen. Such delusion. The hourglass runs short. There is no time for this futile dance. It's clear now you are fool enough to give everything for this beast, child. So, let me see how far this friendship goes. Wait! Ah! What are you doing? But you are strong enough, Nunu. Mom? I'm so proud of you, my son. But I failed, Mom. I can't say Willump, and I didn't find the Heart of the Blue. You can save him, Nunu. And you have found it. You're wrong, Mom. I have it. I couldn't. Do you remember what the heart of the blue is? I don't know what it is. You never told me. A fire for the darkness? A candle for the night, but I don't know what that means. It means you needed to be somewhere dark before you could find it. You know where it is, Nunu. You feel it now, don't you? No. I don't know. It can't be. Say it. Will gave me the heart of the blue? He did. So, where it belongs is with you, Nunu. But why? You'll have to ask Willem. I feel like I'll lose you if I touch it, Mom. Is that true? In a way, yes. Then I can't. I, I won't lose you again. You'll play my songs, I trust. You'll tell stories about me. Yes, but... Listen to me, Nunu. You cannot kill a story. You cannot kill a song. So long as there are voices to sing and ears to hear, a song lives forever. As will I. Okay? Okay. But right now, you have a brother who needs your help. A brother? Willump! You know what you must do? <sighs> I do. And are you ready? I am. Then let's go.
It all feels like a dream. I thought I lost you, Willem. <laughs> what did I tell you? Five armies, left arm, no problem. A new record for the mighty... Oh, uh, Brom is thinking this maybe is not best time for a union, huh? Survive first, big fluffy hugs later. Come, giant Poro, check. Little hero, check. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> ah, yes! <laughs> you found your heart of the blue, you defeated the evil queen, and you saved the biggest Poro Brom has ever seen! <laughs> I know, I know, but... I love Poro. <laughs> what can I say? <sighs> you are the finest of Yeti, and I am honored to have fought alongside you. My friend, my Willem. You are lucky to have such a friend, little hero. But then, you too are more than you seem. Together, you are unstoppable. So what happens now, Brom? What are you gonna do? This is the Freljord, Nuno. Always there is someone who needs help. Just over the horizon. That is where you will find Brom. You can come with us, you know. We make a pretty good trio. Indeed we do, little hero. But the mountain must stand alone. Besides, Brom wants to hear your stories the next time we meet, huh? Then we'll make sure they're the best you've ever heard. I'll get bigger and stronger and be just like you! Oh, you are already strong, Nuno. In ways I cannot imagine. But you will never be like Brom. Huh? Why? You will never know loneliness. Sorry? What are you sorry for? That's okay, buddy. How come you never told me? To hide it from the ice queen. Huh. I just worry I'm not worthy of having the heart of the blue. Thanks, Willump. You're so wise. Now? But I don't have anything to use it on. Spellsonger! You're right! It, it broke! Okay. So, how does this work exactly? Wow! It's fixed! Okay, now what? Freljord, here we go! <laughs> hey, Willem, I was thinking, Mom once told me that all great stories need a great title. So, what should we call this story? Willem, it's just perfect. The brisk, chilling air is calling, and out there we're free to run and jump and live so wildly. Head first, we'll go tumbling. Places unknown with nothing but the stars to light our way. And though 
the sun may set at night Tomorrow looks so bright Cause home, home is when you're by my side No matter what we do Together we'll see it through And I hope, hope that we won't drift apart Even though things change without you it's not the same I know it's true Life's better When it's me and you Yeti walks into an inn and walks up to the bar. Oh, wait, no. It wasn't a Yeti. It was a Drew mask. Or was it a Krog? No. Oh, it was definitely a Drew mask. I... I think it... Oh, no. I gotta think about it. Let's go again. Gotcha! Who's I remember now! The Jews! So, a Jew bash walks into a Yetis in here. Did you not read the sign? No, I definitely got that wrong. It was a Yeti after all. And that wasn't even the right punchline. Oops. Oh, sorry, buddy. Yeah, Brom did tell me the joke I was trying to tell you. Why? I know, but I really did. He tells it much better. I 
the Yeti magic. He is the heart of the blue. But how has this happened? Was it all our fault? In manipulating the Yetis, did I forge the need for this boy to exist? I was wrong about so many things. I am not the savior I thought I was. Such power. Such Innocence. The boy is a blade. Not me, and certainly not the Yeti. Yes. I must sharpen that blade, for what is yet to come. The North shall have its frozen messiah. The savior to face the abyss. The hourglass runs short. No. The hourglass is broken. Time is now. I shall watch him as they watch me. 